Hey gang, welcome to your 13th Django tutorial and in this video we'll take a look at how we can extend our templates. So then, to explain exactly how extending templates works and why we'd want to do that, I want to walk you through a simple scenario. Imagine in this application we have not one template, but say 20 or 25 templates. Now, in each of those templates, the way things are going here and the way we're doing things, we'd have all of this stuff at the top, the head and the body, and maybe some kind of footer down here as well. Now, if we want to, at some point, update the head, for example, of our website, then we'd have to go through each of those individual templates and change the head in each one of them. And that is a lot of work and probably not the best way of arranging our templates. We can do this a better way and we can do it by extending a base template. So the idea here is that we should have a base template which has all of the global stuff that's on every template like the head, the stuff at the top, maybe a footer as well. All that goes in some kind of base global template. Then our individual templates extend that template. So they have the base template around them and then we nest specific content for that individual template inside it. So I'll show you how we can do that in this tutorial. So first of all, let's create our global base template and we'll do that inside this templates folder we created way back in one of the first lessons. So we'll create a new file and call this base underscore layout dot HTML. And inside here, we want to create the HTML which will appear on pretty much every single page in our application. So all of that stuff we've already created inside this thing. So it's all of the head and the opening body tag. Paste all of that inside the base layout because that will be on every uh, template as well. Then all of this stuff is unique to this individual template right here, article list. But this stuff at the bottom, that will be on every single template as well. So this right here, this is our base template. This is the stuff that will appear everywhere. Now then, the stuff unique to each individual template will go right here. And in fact, what I'll also do is create a div with a class of wrapper because I think that will be on every single template as well. And then that individual template content will go inside this wrapper for each of those templates. So how do we then say that, look, this is where we want our template content to go? Well, we can create a block and we can create various blocks and output those blocks wherever we want inside this base template. For example, if I want to create a block here, I could open up the template tags and then say that I want to create a block, first of all, then the name of that block, which I'll call content because this will be the main content of the actual template. Then we need to end the block. So again, template tags, then end block like so. So now we're saying, hey, look, in this base template, this is where we want a block called content to go. So if you come across a block called content in an individual template, I want you to take that and I want you to put it right here inside this global template. So let's do that. If we go into this individual template right now, the first thing we need to do is get rid of all of this because it's already in our base template. So this is the only stuff that's unique to this individual template right now. And then at the top, we need to say, first of all, that this file, this template is going to extend from this base template. And the way we do that is by using our template tags again. So curly braces, percentage, like so. And inside, we say extends and then in single quotes, base underscore layout dot HTML. All right. So now Django knows that this template wants to extend from this template right here. Now, I said that we need to say where the block is because we have this block right here. And Django will look for this block called content inside our individual template. And if it finds it, it's going to grab all of that block and paste it right here. So we need to say, look, this is that block. And the way we do that is by saying curly braces percentage again, then block, and then the block name, which is content, like so. And then at the end, after the block has ended, we can open up our curly braces percentage again, 
and say end block to say this is where the block ends. So then let's just neaten this up a little bit and save it and this should hopefully all still work. If I refresh over here we still get the articles page and it's still got all of that style in it and whatnot because we're extending from this base layout. So now when we create new templates we don't need to write all of the head out again. We've already got that base layout. We just write the individual content for that particular template and say look this will be injected into this block called content on this main template. Okay so there you go my friends that is how we extend templates in Django.